Hello, my name is Tom, and in this video I will solve square cells puzzle number 7. Okay, um, I start off by marking all the group clues as usually, and um, I can't deduce anything from these group clues yet, so let's start by looking at the column clues. We have two squares here plus three squares plus one gap in between that totals six squares and we have exactly six squares in this row so I can mark the positions like this and delete the gap in between. Now let's look at this clue. We have three connected squares, one, two, three, because this square was marked already and we have one more square down here or here but I don't yet know where. In this column we only have separate squares so I can delete this square here because this one has to be separate. <coughs> Sorry, in this clue, uh, in this column, I need uh, three connected squares and one separate square. Now, the separate square can only be positioned here or here. If it was here, the three connected squares would already be uh, either here or here. So I can mark those two squares already for this column. Um, and in this column, I need two connected squares at the bottom, so I can mark this one and delete this square. Now let's look at the row clues. We have one separate square in the beginning, this one, so I can delete this square, and then we need two connected squares like this. I can delete the remaining squares. Here in this uh, row we need three connected squares, one, two, three, it has to be those three, then a gap, and one separate square, so I can delete this square. Now in this row I need one separate square, it can only be this one, I can delete those two, and I have two connected squares like this. In this row I need two connected squares first of all, so like this, and the remaining separate square can be either here or here. <coughs> In this row I need three connected squares, one is marked already, so one, two, three, and a separate square which is at the end here, so I can delete this square. And um, Looking at this clue now, we have two connected squares, one is marked already, so one, two, and a gap. That also completes the group of seven connected squares here. And then I need three connected squares, like this, which completes the group of four connected squares also. Now I have, again, to look at the uh, column clues. I have three connected squares here, and this column left, they can only be positioned like this, one, two, three. Which means the group of four connected squares is completed. Also, I can only have one separate square in this row, so I have to delete this square and thereby complete the puzzle. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the solution, and I hope to see you again in my next video um, when I will solve puzzle number 8. Bye!